All right, guys, we're back. I'm your boy DeAnthony and my boy Adon, my boy Christopher DeConge, and a special guest, Alex, over here. Alex. So, just came back from seeing Kong, King Kong, baby. <laughs> and honestly, I'm about to just say, I am goddamn tired of Samuel Jackson. All these movies he should not be in. What? He ruins every from? single one. What? Say that again. <laughs> I dare you. I double dare you. I'm for real this time. We're not joking. <laughs> I, I actually think he should not be in movies as a 70 year old man. But. He doesn't look 70. He's, he doesn't. In, he's the, in the facial area. He's spry. But his body. I like, could use another covered. Mace Windu come back. But... <laughs> <laughs> you know you want to see that purple lightsaber again, there. Yeah, I do, but not with time. Samuel. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's a good actor. Don't get me wrong. But anyway, so let's run down with who we got in there. It's a lot of people, actually. Uh, it's very starstruck. We'll just go over some key actors. Uh, so we got Tom Hindleston. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. I'm just reading his name. He was hunky. <laughs> <laughs> take away the accent, he's still hunky. That's that's a trick with British people. Uh, oh, we got another British actor in there. It's like, okay, it's mute. <laughs> and he maintained the British accent, which was nice. So we, we got Samuel Jackson, Brie Larson, Heart. John C. Riley, which was... Awesome. Yeah, I have to say. hilarious. Like, we definitely needed him. And a bunch of other people that you're going to recognize, so just go see it. Definitely. So, out of all the, I guess, three major Kong movies, this is the best one? We're going to say it's the best one? Hands down. I will. Hands down. I will. <laughs> Hands down. To that. <laughs> yes, best one. This is really just the third, like the original, and then the Jack Black one, and this? Yeah. 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 I would have to say this is definitely my favorite. Uh, there's no racial tones in it, and it's just awesome as far as like the action, dope. Like even as far as like monster movies, it's up there for me. Pacific Rim and all those, it's like <laughs> battling for that first spot. Favorite monster movie is that a is that a category? Oh, that's, that's gonna be category. hard. I would say it's mine in like the last ten years or yeah. some, like since two thousand. Honestly, I would say Pacific Rim was what what kind of corked me back into it because it was just. That movie was just robots beating up on big monsters, and that was exactly you got exactly that. This was just yeah. a big monkey getting down, and I loved every minute of it. Pacific Rim was pretty dope. Yeah, yeah. I'm hoping that they we can merge this together. Yes, uh, somehow. Yeah. yeah, I've heard little rumors. Little, little merger, rumors. little merger, little little uh, synergy. Never know. <laughs> Pacific Rim is supposed to follow in line with the monster movie. I, I don't think so. I think they're on their they're own, their own kind of world. universe. Yeah. yeah, but it's still kind of real world though. They could, so it's they possible could. they can tie well, it. Was in. the future though, wasn't it? Right, the yeah, future. Definitely. What do you guys think about the CGI? A lot of CGI going on. It was phenomenal. I couldn't even say yeah. it. Some phenomenal of the best CG for sure. Is, it, and I mean, apparently Kong was all CG. Like all that, it, the fact that they did that. And I still completely felt immersed into it. They, they did a good right, job. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. Are you, you hunking it up? Yeah. This is oh. CG. No. <laughs> Talking about CG. <laughs> all those muscles ain't real, ladies. Those are all fake. <laughs> nah, but it was pretty solid. I mean, aside from them getting, like, nice action shots, they really oh, yeah. blended it well with, like, the real world and like the CG, it was just awesome. I loved say, it. The cinematography when it came down to this movie, some of the just key shots that they oh, did, yeah. just yeah. I'm sitting there going like, I want a wallpaper of that. I want, I don't want a poster <laughs> of that. Like, yeah, I want just a room filled with that. Yeah. It was really good. Right. Yeah, the, the opening scene was pretty dope. Yeah. <laughs> they dropped us right in the freaking bucket. Like we're just sitting there, like what's gonna happen? They, they made it. Through. Okay, that's, that's right. And then just doom. None of this 1960, <laughs> 1950 monster movies where yeah. we just see. Shadows and silhouettes of the, mo yeah, of the monster. Yeah. Item to the last going right to of the it. movie. Yeah, yeah. This is Kong. Yeah, right off the bat. <laughs> I loved it. And, but I will have you know, you guys know me. There was some time where CGI was kind of lacking. Where? Uh, when he's walking across the water. When the, uh, I guess your guy, your favorite guy, <laughs> is uh, getting something to drink, I guess. And he walks through the mountains or whatever into the water scene. That, to me, was a little shaky. After that was great. But maybe just the movements. I was too into it. I couldn't tell. Yeah, I didn't pick up on any yeah. of that. Yeah, yeah, you know, guys, I, I pick apart movies. So. <laughs> I wear glasses. That's okay. so, uh, Derek has to find something, yeah. guys. Oh so, uh, no, so, that's not. No. Just think about it. Okay, throughout the entire movie, never... monkey eaten, beaten. He's just like water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
like this water could never but happen. The water didn't look good enough. I don't like this movie. No, no. So you know what? It's going down two points. <laughs> Just in case someone else saw it, I had to mention it. Yeah. Are you talking like okay. when he was like pushing the water around? Uh, with his legs, he's like coming through the mountain, and it's kind coming of just, into the scene. It's brushed water. It's just like, pfft. like his legs. I didn't like. I didn't. Well, anyway, <laughs> that was just one part. I don't want to like bash the movie because it was a good movie. Um, what you guys thought about it? If you had to like rate it, what would you guys have to rate it? I'm really, I'm stoked, but I just want to know what you guys have to say. I mean, it's gonna be up there for me for sure. Like, you know, one out of ten. I'm giving it a nine. You know, it's like. It's dope, you know. I, I I'm I'm digging these monster movies. I, I've been craving like you know Pacific Rim two, and this one satisfied my craving and then some because I didn't know what to expect from this movie. So, yeah. yeah, yeah, okay. So when it comes down to it, you know how I work out with my hero to villain complex and just some of the other things, mm -hmm. and we got that. Samuel mm -hmm. Jackson played a very very good mm -hmm. bastard in this one, <laughs> and uh, I really enjoyed it. Kong by far was just done great. It reminded me of the traditional, traditional. CG, CG guys. CG. Uh, <laughs> it reminded Kong. me of the traditional King Kong. You know, it just, you know, when uh, Peter Jackson did his, he did it just like a gorilla, whereas to, to, we saw more of those human elements to, to King Kong. Mm -hmm. And I really enjoyed that. The atmosphere, the overall look, the creatures, the cast, it did, they did a phenomenal job. So, 9.5. 9 I enjoyed it. It's been a long time since I've, I've just sat there and was like, uh, yeah. So, yeah. um, with the right, monster movie, so. I mean, I, I think I'd give it a nine. I might, after processing it, and if I was to pick it apart more, I might change that. But just as an overall movie-going experience, I'd give that a nine. Yeah. For for the genre that it is, for all the key aspects, like, the, the acting was great. I, I can't say anything bad about the acting. Like, there was a distinct characters. I don't, I wouldn't really say it's a stereotype, but it also kind of reminded me of, um, What's the one with uh, William Dafoe? The one that they like spoof Tropic Thunder off of. Yeah, I thought that was like Apocalypse Now. Mm -hmm. No, that one Platoon? Platoon. Platoon. Yeah. Platoon. Yeah. Platoon. There yes. you go. It, like, uh, it was on the freaking movie the, cover, him going, oh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, so like when that guy, when that grenade scene that reminded me of that William Dafoe shot where he's just taking it. Um, but like, the, I feel like the they did a good job portraying Vietnam. If Definitely. that makes sense. Yeah. Time period wise. Time yeah. period wise. It this was, was a, actually really a good period piece too, if you really think yeah. about it. It was, it was really well done. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Okay. I, I was really wondering what you guys thought. I'm not probably going to go that high. <laughs> just because I'm a fan of story. It's not a lot of story, but <laughs> I will give it an 8.5. I enjoyed uh, it. The... It's like, it's like, where's the meter? Action was great. It was very impactful. You know, the, um, I guess the timing was like on point. I laughed through the whole thing. You guys know how I am. Got him. Yeah, pretty much. I don't care though. It's funny to me. I mean, that's, that's how I know it's a great action movie if I'm actually laughing. Oh, I want to ask, um, Alex, what you thought about the feminine en energy that we got from the movie? I think it was strong. I mean, obviously, I'm not going to... I know people kind of rack on certain movies because there's not enough females in it. But for what the situation was, there was, like, no other reason for a woman to be on that trip unless she was a photographer. Because the only hmm. women in the military at the time were, like, secretaries and nurses and stuff. So it accurately portrayed why a woman would even be on that mission because she was a photographer she's there to document mm -hmm. um well and then well there's the uh, asian girl too that's yeah. right oh, yeah. the, 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 the scientist yeah. 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 which wow. is which is fair because that's actually kind of when women were starting to get more noticed um she was definitely a strong character she was snarky she held her own mm -hmm. um she was pretty fearless when she was actually there like nothing really phased her yeah, both it's them. interesting that you say that because I was at first I was uh, kind of like ah she's a little irritating and kind of like unrealistic but she just came back from shooting Vietnam mm -hmm. so she's already seen it been there done that More as so. far as right sure so yeah. nothing else is gonna really scare her I'm actually glad that you kind of brought that up it kind of made me think about that well it's, it's interesting that you say that because the way you saw her in the beginning of the film is the way all the other male characters saw her too. Yeah, exactly. Like Samuel it, Jackson. Like, there was no difference between female and male at the end, towards like even in the middle of the film, like 
there was no consideration for, oh, yeah, you're a chick, you can't handle this, I have to protect you. They were kind of just in it together, and it didn't matter. Yeah, I, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. I just, sorry, I brought up a favorite part of mine when... Um, John C. Riley. Yeah, John C. Riley. you know, yeah. um, he gives a little tidbit about when it comes down to it in the end, you look at each other, and you're just two people. And mm -hmm. it doesn't matter where you came from. Take away the uniforms, take away all that crap. You are who you are, and that's that's kind of what it came down to in this movie. Yeah, it's very just animal instinct, you know, survival yeah. mode. Just like everyone survive, all right. <laughs> and one thing I really liked about the movie was that they gave us a lot of other creatures. It oh, wasn't yeah. just about the bad guy and the good one. They got all these other little ones that are like in the mix yeah. that are just living there. Yeah, mm -hmm. I thought that was really dope. The stick figure. Yeah. That, the, that thing was spider. adorable. Like, he <laughs> oh, wait, shot no, him and he thing. like tucked yeah. back in. He's like, I, I don't know about you, but video. the whole time I'm watching this thing, I'm thinking, that's Groot's ride. That's <laughs> Groot's ride. <laughs> I was thinking that. I was, thinking, I was like, it was a baby Groot. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Right. So we don't want to give away too many things, but there were other monsters. So you're gonna you're gonna get more than just Kong and like the lizard people or whatever you want to call those monsters. Those are weird yeah. hybrids of like lizard colors. snakes because they only had. The, yeah, 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 yeah. Some of the anatomy yeah. looked familiar to some other other monster movies. Um, I, I actually kind of thought of the Cloverfield monster because of the anatomy of it. Right. Because yeah. yeah. the Cloverfield monster was balanced the same way on its primary legs and had the long tail. Uh, not to give too much away, but um. I, it, I mean, not that that's going to be emerging at all, but it just that, that same anatomy would get kicked out to me. I still yeah. feel like that Cloverfield monster looked like a praying mantis. That's what I'm going with, but yeah. I'm going to let it go. I just we remember like giant up. leg things yeah. poking at the ground. That's all I remember. Let us know if you guys think that that, <laughs> that description of the Cloverfield monster was accurate. Giant yeah. praying mantis. Yeah. We'll post a picture. Well, I'm going to touch on the um, the feminine aspect again. They didn't sexualize her, which I appreciated. No. They tend to do that whenever there's like just one female in the group. Yeah. They'll yeah. find a way to sexualize her, and they didn't at all. Right, they didn't rip her shirt off or anything. No. Yeah. I mean, she was wearing a tank top, but it was like, whatever, it's the freaking jungle. It's hot. So, yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. It wasn't one of those like stupid spaghetti strap tank tops. It was an actual like freaking tank top, and she had a sport bra on her. Like, she was really yeah. well kept. Yeah. For both of the women, actually. Yeah. 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 She, the other girl was just you know, normal clothes. Because they're um the new Jumanji movie that's coming out. Uh, they oh, posted me what? the new Jumanji movie. Jumanji's coming out. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah you didn't know that with, with the Dwayne the Rock Johnson. With the rock? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, and uh, Kevin Hart, I think too. Yeah. yeah. Is he whoa, gonna be whoa, in whoa. that? Yeah. Be in it too. Ah uh, yeah. now. Yeah. I don't know if I want to see that. <laughs> <laughs> Getting a little goofy now. Yeah, I know. You can't well, take away my Robin Williams. It ain't happening. Yeah, oh, well, man. the girl from um, who played Nebula in Guardians of the Galaxy, she was also in Doctor Who. She's like the female lead of it, and they posted a picture. She's like in like crop top and like little jungle shorts, and they're just like, why are they sexualizing her? And like, they're, hmm. So there's supposed to be like a reason behind why she's dressed like that. But it just reminded me of that, like, they didn't do that in this, even though it's kind of a similar situation. Or like in that last Jurassic World movie, there was that one chick that was running around in uh, high, high heels. heels the whole time. Yeah. Yeah, that was ridiculous. Yeah. I gotta say, though, man, if, if that woman's rocking it, high, that, sure, credit to you, skadoosh. Yeah, She's not really running from dinosaurs <laughs> in red pumps. Yeah, okay. That's hilarious. Was it Jessica Chastain? I think it was. Yeah, I, I don't remember. I don't remember. Her name. Are we talking the redhead, the lead? Yeah, yes. the redhead, she was yeah. in he high heels the whole time. Yeah, the whole yeah, time. The whole time. I don't remember that. You know, she, yeah. All you heard half the time when she was running is. Yeah. All she did was roll up her sleeves and said, I'm ready for the jungle. No, don't. she ripped off something. She, I think she tore her skirt. She did that too. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, she's like, I got this. And then, yeah, she was boss I don't after that. Heels. No pants. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. back to. <laughs> Back to the current movie. Yeah. Um, so are you guys recommending this? Well, highly like, recommend uh, it. Definitely, yeah. yeah. You, you know. Go see it. I, I posted it up and I basically said this movie is a, about a larger, hairier version of me just kicking ass all over the place. It's fluffy. Yeah, yeah, it's fluffy. Raw. And you guys know that I trash everything that we watched, but I loved it. I, I, yes, I, I definitely <laughs> laughed the whole time. Great action. Great impact. You're going to like it. Yeah. Go see yeah. it. I think it caters to a lot of people, too, because it's, I mean, it's a genre film. It's a monster movie, but it's also action. It's comedy. Mm -hmm. It's drama. Yeah. yeah. And it, it 
hit all those marks. Yeah, it was definitely and, funny in those like little appropriate areas that yeah. it had to be, you know, it's just like it wasn't trying to be funny yeah. just to be funny. Yeah, yeah. Be like John C. Riley usually has that just awkward funniness at certain points of movies, and this movie everything was on key, like. Yeah. It made sense. Every moment was perfect. I actually want to see more of him. I think he's a great actor. <laughs> yes, I, I think he's I was, I was very talented. That. Like <laughs> his, but you know, I always say that like com- comedians, they can always portray every other emotion because the hardest emotion is to try to make someone laugh. Like, yeah, get that out of someone. Very hard. So I can, I think that they're able to touch into every other emotion because of that. Yeah, uh, I thought I want to see more of him actually. Absolutely. I would definitely yeah. want to. All right, guys. Well, that is our review. We are Break Room Blitz. Let us know, should they be combining all these monster movie universes together? We get the Kong and the Godzilla (laughs) and the Pacific Rim. Do you guys want to see that? We do. I do. Definitely. I'm down. I want to see some kaiju come out and Godzilla be like, and then throw it to... Kong and Kong's like, yeah. <laughs> tag me in, tag me in. The road. So what, you want to see like a Kong Godzilla? Team. Yeah, I, they yeah. should build yes. a ring and then like literally like tag team. Like it would be great. Ding, ding. Right. <laughs> also, stay after the credits. You're gonna want to see what stay happens after, after the credits. Yes. Don't look it up online. Actually, go to the movie and yeah. see it after mm-hmm. the credits. Okay. Experience yes. it. Yeah. In all its glory. Great soundtrack, by the way. Yep. Toss oh, another great soundtrack. Love the soundtrack. They do vinyl on this one. It's mine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. <laughs> I'm your boy, D'Anthony. I'm Mr. Conch. And we're out, baby. Peace. Peace.